Hello, my name is Tara McCollum and I am the Assistant Registrar of Systems and Scheduling Services here at Holland College. Today I'm going to run a short video to show you quickly how to access your registration through WebAdvisor. To get to WebAdvisor, you first can go through our Holland College website, which is hollandcollege.com. You can go up into our login button, click WebAdvisor, and the WebAdvisor screen will launch for you. You would then go up into the login menu and log in with your username and password that you have already created and hit submit. To register for the upcoming school year, you can go to students and graduates. And on this screen, there are many options that you will have available to you throughout the school year. For this option, we are gonna click on register for fall and winter. Then once the next screen opens up, we're going to hit Course Planning Wizard here. On this screen of our program confirmation, we're going to confirm which program we're attending. So if the program listed here is not the program that you're actually attending this fall, you would click No in the drop down and then hit Submit to bring up a menu option of the program that you are attending. So if this is the correct one, we leave it as Yes and hit Next. On this screen, we see a listing of two sets of requirements, the program requirements for your program and our occupational health and safety program. So we're gonna do both of them, but we're only gonna do one at a time. So we're gonna start with the first one. We're gonna select the courses for our program, hit next. And then on this screen, it's gonna list all of the courses identified that are required to take for our program. Since I'm coming to the business manager program, my program is a two year program, but I'm only coming to school for my first year starting in the fall. So I am only gonna select the courses that are designated year one under the session cycle. And I'm gonna pick the drop down. The term is indicated here, the 2020 and 2021 term here. So we're gonna pick the term for all courses indicated as year one. We won't select any that say year two as these will be in our selection for registration next summer um, if that we will be taking for the following year. So after we have selected all of our first years, we're going to hit next. Some programs have a very listing of courses that have many offerings of A's and B's. So under the program column, we're going to look for all courses that are associated with my program, which is business. As we can see, the very first course is listed here in the drop down is business. It comes in a group A, B, and C. I would like to pick courses in the group A. So I'm going to select all courses where I see group A. Not, now, not all programs have listings of A, B, or C. As you can see from these other programs, they don't have that indicated. So if the program you are registering for does not have a letter associated with the courses, you simply just take that course. Now, if you do have a program that does have multiple letters, please stay within the same letter group as it will avoid having conflicts in your schedule. This one here has says, even though it is group A, it is a second year only course. So I will disregard that course for this year as I know that is something I'm going to take in my following year. So I'm keen to keep going through the list till I see everywhere where it says business group A. Now, once again, not your, your program may not have letters associated or groups associated with their courses. So simply just take all of the courses indicated with your program. After I've selected all of the courses through the list that indicate my program, I'm going to scroll down to the very bottom and hit next. It's going to take me to this last registration screen. And on this screen, I will clearly see that the, under the program column, it says all business and all group A. If this is all correct, I can simply hit register at the top and hit next. If I realize that any of these courses are the wrong ones, I could leave this one here blank and I could register, register or remove from the list depending on which ones I wanna keep and select from my registration.
For me, I would like to keep all of them. So I am simply going to leave it as register at the top as it is one action for all. Either you use this action or these actions. And then I hit next. Now that I have selected the courses I want to register for, I simply click register at the top drop down. So whether I do this or these individually, it's one of the other actions. Now I hit submit, hit next at the bottom. This option takes about 30 seconds to register. So just hold on and it will process. It's just trying to process your registration at this point. So once we come back here, we can see all of the courses that we've registered for and any unsuccessful registrations. At this point, we can go back through the registration process and see where the error was and pick a new course. So at this point, we can hit OK, which will return us back to the main program confirmation screen. So we're going to hit Next here. And this is taking us back. Remember at the first one, we said there was two options there under requirements. We did the manager business manager courses. Now we're going to do the occupational health and safety. So we're simply going to select that and hit next. It's just one course here that we're going to pick the term for and hit next. And then right here, we're going to select the course where our, where our program is located. So my program is at the Prince of Wales campus. So I'm going to pick the one at the Prince of Wales campus, hit next. Right here, I'm going to remove this from my listing as this was an error in my previous registration and we're simply going to register for the occupational health and safety course and hit next. Once this is all complete, my registration is complete and to verify your class schedule, you can click on my class schedule, pick your term and then hit submit. And here would be an indication of your class schedule. As a lot of my courses are distance this um, semester, you can see where my times and days of the weeks are. If you select OK, it will just keep taking us back to this menu option. For other things you can check on WebAdvisor, if you go back to the student menu, you can click on account summary by term and you indicate any charges have been charged to your account due to the registration that you have just processed. And you can, if you hit OK here, it will just flip you back to the student menu. If you ever need to see your class schedule again, after you have done your registration, right on the main student menu, right here under my class schedule, you can access it again under term and submit again. And this will show you where your schedule is. Hopefully that was helpful in getting your registration started for this school year. Um, have a great day and have a great semester.